Hello and welcome to Shortcuts, the weekly show where I teach you how to do something cool in your Lightworks video editor in two minutes or less. My name is David Winter, I'm a video editor here at Lightworks, and today I've got a question for you. Let's say you've put a load of visual effects onto a clip, you've adjusted the settings, got it all just right, but you need to recreate those effects across 20 other clips. How are you going to go about doing that? You're going to have to put the effects on each individual clip, mess around with the settings 20 times over. Sounds like a lot of work. What do you think outdated internet meme? Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Hmm. Ain't nobody got time for that indeed. So what I'm going to show you today is how you can save all of those effects with the settings intact and then use them however you want on future clips. It's really quick and easy to do, but it's going to save you a lot of time. So let's get our two minute timer up on the screen now and off we go. So here we go, we've got our footage sans effects and we'll put some on here and play around with the settings a little bit. In hindsight, I sort of wish I'd thought ahead to what effects I was going to add before I started recording this. We'll add the, a bit of this. Bit of that. And actually we've got kind of like a, a flashback look going on here. So we'll try and finish that off with a bit of this. That's a bit aggressive actually, yeah. We'll take that down a bit. Okay, cool. I think that's actually a pretty good flashback look for something we made up on the spot. So now we want to save these all together as a custom effect so we can easily use it on other clips. Hey, it's me. Yes, sorry for the interruption. I just wanted to remind you we do have a brilliant deal on for Shortcuts viewers where you can get 50% off of Lightworks Create on an annual or outright membership. Just check the description below for more details on that. Back to it. So let's have a look at how we can streamline this process. All we need to do is go into the settings panel of the VFX tab and then click on these three dots up here on the top right of it. From there, we're just going to choose create template from segment effects. First thing we're going to do is give it a name so we know what the overall grouping of effects is. And then we need to choose a category. Now you can choose any of the pre-existing categories or you can create the new user category just for your user effects. That's what I'm going to do now. And then we'll give it a little description here just in case the name isn't a good enough reminder at some point down the line. Then we just click save to save that effect. So now we've done that, if we go to add a new effect and you can see it's added a user tab for us. This wasn't here previously, but it's been created to house our custom effect. So if we go into the user tab and there we go, there's our flashback effect that we created. If I drag this down onto a clip, you can see that it's applied the same effects that we created on the first clip, but we haven't had to go through and manually do all that. We can simply drag this effect down onto the clip. So we've got it on the second clip. I put that on there by dragging it down to the clip. Another way to apply it is to click on the clip you want it on and then just to double click on the effect. We'll do that on the third one now. So it's super simple. We can now use that effect as much as we want on as many different clips as you want. Great way to speed up your VFX workflow. There we go. That's gonna save you loads of time, especially if you're doing a lot of VFX work inside your edit. So give it a go. Let me know how you get on in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe and all of that YouTube goodness so you get notified every time there's a new episode of Shortcuts. Thanks for watching.